Well, here we uh, just watched the trailer for Ghost uh, Busters, new Ghost Busters. Um, might as well call it uh, Ghost Floppers, as that's probably what's going to happen um, with this particular film. Uh, I mean, it's just pretty much your standard issue action comedy that we get all the time. How can you consider that to be Ghostbusters? You know, uh, Ghostbusters is above that kind of stuff. Should be anyway. Uh, you know, like friggin' Click or something like that. It's just throwaway jokes, throwaway crap. It doesn't really, if you didn't know, if it didn't have the name Ghostbusters on it, you probably wouldn't even know. Will it be serviceable? Yeah. People online are hyperbolizing and saying, ah, it's terrible. It's not terrible. It's not going to be terrible. It'll be a decent comedy. You go in, you kind of enjoy it, and then you don't really think about it much afterwards. It's pretty much all that's going to... That's pretty much it. Uh, they could have done a million times better film, and of course people are saying, well, it's the female cast that's the problem. No, that's not the problem. The problem is just, just a bad movie. It's poorly written. Uh... I'm not even going to waste my time on it. I'm, I'm going to just, you know, ignore its existence because I've been down this road before. I've seen this movie come and go a million times. You know, I don't need to walk right into this one. Hell no. I, you know, clearly in the trailer, there's a really clear, just blatant failure at something going on there. Uh, so there's no real reason for me to say I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not going to give it a shot. Better things to do. Better things to work on. Better things to worry about. You know what I mean? But what will happen now is a question. The world has spoken. The official release of the trailer on its own YouTube site has been given more dislikes than likes. That's right up Sony's ass. It's not as if it's it's on some other website Sony doesn't know about. This is the Sony YouTube website. And it's gotten nothing but downvotes. They've been deleting, deleting, deleting bad comments to try to save the movie on their little website here, but it's not working. The honest opinion of the trailer is actually going forth, and people are saying it's not that great. Not just that, but yeah, I, I you know. And the thing about it is that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna defend Paul. I'm not gonna defend the crew. I'm not gonna defend the cast. They've been blatantly from the Twitter blow up saying well if you don't like the movie don't see it you win I'm not gonna see the movie and probably a lot of people aren't you know when you have the opportunity to make a really good solid Ghostbusters movie you don't just make whatever comes out your ass you do the right thing and you make a good Ghostbusters film it could have been a Ghostbusters film with Bill Murray Ernie Hudson and Aykroyd just doing what they gotta do instead we're getting this and 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 it's like might as well have made old busters I prefer that than whatever this is you know it's either you're gonna have a really kinda shitty third Ghostbusters movie or you're gonna get a really kinda shitty third Ghostbusters movie which is what this is so it's, it doesn't make sense to not bother look at Creed Creed's where they should have done this thing. Creed is a really terrible Rocky movie. I'm going to say it. Nobody's willing to say it, but I'm going to say it. It sucks as a Rocky movie. As a movie about this new character, Creed, and his life and his complexity and his journey, it's great. You know? As a movie featuring Rocky and his character... It feels to me it's just kind of this this just just hard to watch that. Rocky's a legend. You don't want to see a legend at that point in his life. We all know Rocky's going to probably reach 80. He's probably going to be feeble. He's probably going to be at a point where his you know mental faculties aren't all there anymore. All that crap. Just like Muhammad Ali. Nobody has video Muhammad Ali's still around today. We don't want to see you know, it's sad to say, but we want to remember who Muhammad Ali was. We don't want to see him as he is now. An old, ill, you know, 
troubled mentally person. We love looking at Muhammad Ali's footage from when he was young and hip and doing all his stuff. To suddenly just say, let's look at him now and what he's up to now doesn't make much sense. So here we go. The Creed thing doesn't make sense either. I don't want to see Rocky as an old man. And that's the biggest failure of the movie is that it actually features Rocky in it doing anything at all because it's hard to watch that. It really is. For me, as a person who grew up watching Rocky and feeling like he's a king, he's a god, he can do no wrong, to see him saying he's old and he's, Ew, I can't have a life. It's, 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 it's wrong. It's just wrong. That wasn't the way the character was designed. He was designed to be a titan amongst men. This unbelievable, you know, even in the friggin' Rocky Balboa movie, they showed that, that was the point of that movie, was saying that even as Rocky got older, his, his, his eye of the tiger didn't die. He kept it. He kept being, he kept that, that drive to succeed beyond normal man's capabilities. So... I would have preferred they showed, you know, but yeah, for Ghostbusters, it would have worked out great. The Ghostbusters are getting old. They realize their time on this earth is coming to its, you know, conclusion. They decide to take it upon themselves to take measures to ensure that there will be a new generation of Ghostbusters down the line. And this could have been all about that. It could have been all about them passing the torch, and we would see what would take place as the as as new crew comes along. And have their own little dramas and journeys, and then the new old Ghostbusters keep oh, like Batman Beyond or something like that. So that's that's not a bad idea. Instead, this is this uh, this is a tragedy. Um, the movie claims that Winston was a scientist. There are spin doctors running around on the internet saying, "Well, and technically in the game he got his doctorate," but no, that doesn't matter. It's all about, okay, that first time that they saved New York. Was Winston a scientist when he did that? No. And it's the simple truth. They didn't research it. They didn't care. They just wanted to say, let's make a big stupid action comedy and put the Ghostbuster label on it and call it a day. So they didn't even give a shit and look enough into the past and say, well, it was... That's just a blatant, right there at the friggin' first seconds of the trailer, for scientists. And, you know, it's kind of just like, really? They didn't, they just blatantly put in, at that level, is gonna say, let's start it off this poorly? And, and that, the worst thing's coming along is like, realizing, I, that didn't even register me, the thing that was really hurting my brain was like, okay, this is actually a sequel? This pile of shit. This is a sequel to Ghostbusters 2 and all that. So basically this is like if, uh, you know, kind of like Dumb and Dumber 2 or something like that. Except the new original stars aren't playing their roles anymore. Pretty much. It's like, yeah, like 30 years later, something, something. Now there's a new crew. And they, 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 the strangest thing. They're, they're, they're like, they're like. Apparently, there you know people online are saying, yeah, this is gonna not make much sense because apparently the world has forgotten the Ghostbusters and what they did, and now they have to somehow convince the world that ghosts exist and all that stuff. And they, they even though the Ghostbusters technically exist in this this universe and they they have a history and people should know that something like that actually took place. Marshmallow Man hung out, you know that that all all that crap. How can they possibly make sense to the fact that the Ghostbusters need to be re, you know, reintroduced to society when all of that stuff technically took place? According to the trailer, it says 30 years ago, four scientists saved New York. Now a new team will do what they got to do. So why is there this whole, like, who, who, this, this anti-Ghostbusters sentiment going on when... It definitely after Ghostbusters 2. It was like, people were like, okay, why is the New York kind of like hating on the Ghostbusters in Ghostbusters 2? They literally saved New York. Why is there this vehement anti-Ghostbusters sentiment in Ghostbusters 2 only five little years later? So now, 30 freaking years later, there's nobody thinking ghosts exist anymore. Ghosts don't matter no more. And now, 
the new extreme Ghostbusters have to come in and save the world from the new ghosts. And they're all girls, which doesn't matter, you know. It wouldn't hurt to have a male on a team because I, I'm there watching these. F I never really thought much of it, but it is hard to sit and watch a bunch of women running around playing Ghostbuster. It looks like kids at a costume party. This is that stupid to me. They're so small, you know. It's like you really can't convince me that they can punch anything and do anything of any kind of dangerousness. And it, the, the proton packs are too heavy for them, man. You know, this is, this is like this is the kind of crap that I was worried about, and it's just absolutely true. The little females, like, they're gonna fall over with them big ass proton packs strapped to their back. You serious about this? It never, it never made sense in the extreme Ghostbusters show. That's why, that's why, uh, what's her name? Kylie could never wear the original proton pack. She had to have a modified, smaller one built for her because she's a little woman. So, apparently, these proton packs, they are smaller, but they're pretty darn bulky. And, yeah, they're going to try to shove it down our throats. So, they're these fat one too. A fat, out-of-shape Ghostbuster is able to handle the job, you know. Okay. Not one of the Ghostbusters in the original movie was fat. That's one thing they got proper. In a job like cop or military personnel, fat don't work. You gotta actually get upstairs. You gotta do a lot of things. There's no such thing as fat firemen, fat military personnel. No such thing as fat policemen. Okay, there are, but they shouldn't be fat. I'm just saying. They're, they're trying to say these women become these Ghostbuster crew, and one of them is a, a, a blimp. So, I'm lost on that. Uh, yeah. I'm basically just going to sit back, relax, and watch the whole damn thing collapse. It's uh, it's sad. I don't want to have it, have it happen like this. I don't know. I'm hoping that the movie evens off. You know, it just evens off. It, it, it makes about as much as it took to make it. And then they, they do a better movie next time or something. I don't know. This was all going downhill from the first photo they released. The Ecto-1 looks like a piece of garbage. What were they thinking? What are you doing? This is stupid. Come on, we had a fine thing going. We didn't need to change anything. They didn't need to change nothing, alright? That's all I got to say. See you around.